What did you find out about your friend's SX life that actually shocked you? Always bragged about how much SX he had. Would never shut the hell up about it. One of those guys. Super annoying. Plus this dude was not smooth with girls in any way whatsoever. Would always just nod and play along. Always thought he was full of. Then I found out he r paid every single one of them. My best friend in high school came out of the closet to me. That wasn't really that shocking. What was shocking was finding out the jokes he made about my other best friend blowing him weren't actually jokes. That they didn't have a sex life. We are all in our late 20s and they got married last year. Around 2 months after the wedding I was joking about the lingerie set I bought her on her bachelorette trip and asked if she had worn it after the honeymoon. She looked at me straight and said no. I thought we were having a light hearted conversation, friends for 9 years, like we have always had and was taken by surprise. She followed up with. I'm married now so I closed shop. He can have sx when I try for a baby. But once I have a kid it's over. They just had their first child this month. It's going to be a long 50 years for her husband. One of my best friends. Who I thought was a zool since any talk of sx caused her to get grossed out. Ended up becoming my twin brother's gf. Turns out she had just not met any guys that she felt comfortable with and since we've been friends a couple of years she decided he'd be a good first. Then one night she drunkenly told me about how much sx they were having. And that was kinda weird for all parties since my brother was also there. But hey. I'm happy they're both getting laid. My best friend uses blowjobs as bribery to an insane degree. I mean. I'm not above a little BJ bribery myself. But she uses it on her husband like several times a day. Wants coffee. But doesn't want to make it. BJ. Doesn't want to clean the dishes. BJ. It's her turn to walk the dogs. BJ. It's kind of hilarious. She's super lazy. But prefers giving him head to doing most chores and apparently it works for him too. She also doesn't want SX as often as he does. So she finds this keeps him happy and she doesn't feel the need to put out as much. All of which I find hilarious. Does she know how much easier it is to just make coffee instead of giving a blowjob? On the bright side. She must have that down to a quick science by now. That a friend has been married for 15 years and they've never actually had their sex. Not. One. Time. They've tried but not been successful. From the info I've gotten. I think he's not hard enough. He won't see a doctor. They're both virgins. It's all so sad. In spite of his wife being comfortable with having an open relationship. He proceeded to cheat on her multiple times before we all found out. Edit. Should clarify he refused to have an open relationship. Went at an anime convention with a friend and his gf. I found out his gfs when she org sms. They have been together since hs and every once in a while there would be an angry announcement to please not on the floor in the bathrooms. The pieces began to come together. In high school a classmate of mine was bragging one day about losing his virginity to a lady in our community who happened to be the mother to a girl a grade above us. We all called bull and asked why he'd make something like that up cause not only is it not believable it just wasn't even a funny lie. Fast forward 6 months and fellow classmate has to to leave class on multiple occasions to go to court. Older lady was bragging to a co-worker about sleeping with said classmate and now older lady is a sex offender. He was into swords and getting cut and stuff. It all started on the day of his circumcision. One friend was all into gangbangs and orgies. Never took her as the type. Where the hell are all these gangbangs and orgies happening? My sister-in-law told me what she apparently calls my brother in there. A private time. Big daddy roo roo. Friend wouldn't let me use his computer 20 years ago. He said he had things on there that would change how I thought about him. I stowed the thought aside. 12 years or so later. Married with a young daughter. They threw his ass in prison for having some insanely large amount of child PRN on his computer. He was part of some huge child PRN ring. 
evidently really young girls. She used to win her ex-husband. Kinda took me by surprise. In? Or on? I used to frequent Craigslist back before they banned anything even resembling a dating or hookup ad. I once placed an ad and got a response from a guy on my team at work asking if I wanted to his wife. As in bluntly asking hey buddy. You wanna my wife? Your email address is stripped off when using their built in email system but the name on your email account comes through. The response was in this guy's name, which is unique, and he included a picture of his wife who I have met. The pic didn't show her face but she has some visible tattoos so there is zero doubt it was her. One of my former best friends and his fiancé had been together for nearly 5 years and due to be married in a few months when this happened. They were very open about their sx life saying it was awesome and that they had their fun nearly every night. A few months before the wedding she confided in me that they had actually never had sx before because he was scared. Apparently he had her act like they were having daily sx to make it seem like everything was normal. First couple years they tried and didn't get anywhere with sx. After that he just lost interest in her. Apparently the mental abuse in the relationship was pretty high too which he completely hid from everyone to save his ass. This story is why this best friend is now a former best friend. A couple that I was friends with was into necrophilia play. He would make his wife take an ice cold shower. Quickly dry off. And then she'd just lay there while he had her cold unmoving body. And they really liked it. Friend of mine didn't do foreplay at all and just threw it in there. Started having issues because his girlfriend didn't enjoy it and said it was painful but he was baffled as to why. Poor girl. That day eat ass despite being a germaphobe. Ding. I have a galpal who is mega OCD. Hyper clean and otherworldly germaphobic and she is way into some balloon not bingo. In the battle of kink v. Bacteria. Kink is the victor. Always. My best friend married his high school sweetheart. I knew they were both virgins when they got married. What I did not know, and only found out when they eventually got divorced, was that they only had sx about 20 times during their 10 year marriage. The wife evidently got zero enjoyment from sx. And only did it when she wanted to get pregnant. They had 3 kids. And all happened relatively easily quickly. He was not allowed by her to m but or look at PRN, although he did behind her back. This had nothing to do with religion or anything like that. Just how she personally viewed sx. My friend who didn't really know any better just assumed that's what marriage was supposed to be like. He's now remarried to an incredible woman who evidently loves sx and has been more than willing to make up for all the time my friend was in an essentially s-less relationship. I've never seen him so happy that she had elaborate pirate roleplay sx. We were housemates in college and I heard way more than I be air gained for. Also the guy she had elaborate pirate roleplay sx with smelled bad and wore those shoes with the separate toes. Comma and wore those shoes with the separate toes. <laughs> A friend of mine thinks of me while having sx so they can keep going for much longer. I knew this guy. Lived with a friend of mine. Then one day I saw him on the local news' version of To Catch a Predator. I think he got got some time and might have been deported after that. That was quite a surprise. My wife had a female friend in high school that saved all the used condoms in a brown paper bag under her bed. And from what I heard, there were a lot of them. Can't that mold or go rotten? My friend was US Army Special Forces Green Beret and would go on regular shadow on dates. He would find people online. Mostly on Craigslist, this was in the 2012, and set up random anonymous sx liaisons with people he had never met, spoken with or had even seen. He would show up to an unlocked apartment or house, in the dark without ever seeing or speaking and bail. One day we were playing Xbox. He got an email. Said don't unpause it. I got a go real quick. He left. Did the deed and brought a six pack back all within an hour. Sat down and kept playing. This happened a few different times and I think about it often. 
my best friend never masturbated until I told him the experiences of the luxury. I mean that's pretty mind blowing if you've never done it. My friend only do an L because she's saving her virginity for her husband. She has about 5 BF up to this point. A former friend of mine used to wipe her husband's butt after he'd been to the bathroom. Initially she'd do his washing and he'd leave stains on his underwear. For her? I'm not sure, and that progressed to some humiliation and her checking him when he got home from work every day. She told me this when we were outside having a cigarette and I then had to sit across from them both for the longest game of Monopoly. Well I just found out my girlfriend's a lesbian so that's kinda dying with me. Edit. Thank you all for the support. And the laughs. It sucks. We've been together for a long time. Built a bit of a life together. Been through thick and thin. She claims it's just a mistake. But she's emotionally and physically involved with another woman. And has been cheating on me as well as financially supporting the homewrecker with money we discussed saving for a wedding. I hope she finds what she's looking for. Because it's not gonna be with me anymore. I've given all that I could. My best friend in college got in a pretty kinky SL relationship with this dude for a while. They do BDSM type stuff, none of which is particularly shocking to me, but I remember visiting her apartment and seeing a spoon out randomly in her room and asked why it was there. She said she loved the taste of his cum so much he'd jerk off onto the spoon and feed it to her while she was tied up. I didn't think she'd ever really shock me but that one took the cake. Wait until they find out you can come directly into a person's mouth. Doing it onto a spoon seems inconvenient. Edit. Guys it was a joke. My sister's involvement. Wait until you find about your mom's. My so's boss's husband would call up various guys, sometimes police officer friends, etc. Comma to his wife at her work while she left the phone on speaker so he could hear. That's all he wanted was to hear hormones I guess. It was interesting realizing this otherwise seemingly normal husband and wife with children had this phone cuckold fetish. Well the husband at least. My girlfriend in HS was friends with this girl who was super quiet. And pretty nerdy. Totally innocent in every sense of the word. When she was like 12 or so. Her mom got remarried to this dude who had a son around her age. Well. At around 16 or so. My HS girlfriend finally got stoned drunk with me one night and told me that this girl didn't want to lose her virginity. So her and her stepbrother had been doing NL regularly for months. All I remember was being like. The? And then going home and masturbating furiously to the idea of it. Two of my friends used to date and. Due to Martina's insider. I now know exactly how big he is and how long she can hold her breath. One friend had sex with another friend. Because his dick CGI has aged surprisingly well and it once regurgitated John Voight. My friend who says H word instead of horny because she cannot say it. Has her nipples pierced. He posts himself and his girlfriend to pee Hub and Reddit NSFW. He slept with a clown. Nee. You want to see a magic trick? I can make this penis disappear. My roommate broke his bed one day after coming home with his girlfriend. Pretty ordinary so far. That happens although already quite funny. Then I remembered that I helped him build his bed up when we moved in. Dude's bed has two slatted frames. My best bud of 20 plus years recently came out as gay. He had a bit of a weight problem so was constantly single. Like a good friend I hooked him up with girls a couple times and watched as their relationship went nowhere. I always felt guilty for having a great wife. Now after 20 years realizing all my effort to get him late were going toward the wrong I'm gender. Also not just gay. But like bespoke leather puppy mask gay. Rolled a one on that perception check. Was hanging out with my boyfriend and our friends, who are also a couple. We were having breakfast smoothies. They casually mentioned that they're going to an orgy in Brooklyn on Saturday and it's a really progressive orgy because all men need to be invited by a woman. I'm like wow. That's a really interesting system. Internally I'm like you guys go to orgies? Edit. 
I just wanna say that you guys are losing it over the word progressive since apparently that's how all orgies are. This was like 6 months ago. I'm not quoting her adjective for adjective. That was just my takeaway about that rule she described to us. After several years I found out that one of my female friends wore a strap on and ed her husband up the butt almost every time they had sx. I don't remember how the topic even came up. But apparently that was just how he liked it and she was happy to oblige. He said that when he was 20 he did try it with another man but didn't really find any enjoyment in it because he likes playing with tits while getting plowed. So he only likes it when it's coming from a woman wearing a strap on. That a couple friends of mine had a monogamous Ezel relationship. They were brother and sister. See. The first sentence had me like oh thanks some kinda wholesome stuff. And then the banjo started playing. Well. I found out he likes hosting gangbangs. He invited me to one. Two. Update. I went. I mustn't talk about it. From what I hear gangbangs are a bunch of dudes beside each other jerking off except you get to slide in for 2 seconds. A friend co-worker was caught with BDMS kitty PRN. I did my first hit of acid with him. Makes me wonder if we ever truly know someone. Back in 2014 I found out the group I was hanging with were into convincing teenagers from Instagram to meet up and then drugging and arping them. I knew they were chauvinist jerks but that was a shock. My friend had an LSX with her boyfriend for 5 years before having virginal SX. She was too scared she would get pregnant. I have nothing against an LSX but it totally shocked the hell out of me. I married at 19 and moves across the country. My best friend at the time of my wedding was still a virgin. Two years later during conversation on the phone she tells me she took part in a SX train during a party and ended up buying my married brother too. I don't judge her. But it did shock me because she was always very reserved through high school. That he was having SX with my fiance registered sign. Found out half of my friend group were regularly having foursomes together and rudely not inviting the rest of US. This guy looked and acted like your typical alpha male but was actually a virgin. I think because he was overly confident to the point of being a doucher bag that turned women away. Johnny Bravo. That she lets a girlfriend sleep with other people but it's not an open relationship both ways. I guess if that was a straight relationship it'd be like a hot wife cuckold setup. Her girlfriend's manipulative and she's often upset, not surprisingly. Well this doesn't sound abusive at all. Not really shocking. But one of my friends started dating a guy a few years ago and their entire SX life so far sounds like one big 18 plus episode of Mr. Bean. Every time I meet her all I hear is stories about them falling off the bed. Tipping bottles of juice over themselves. Jizz ending up in one of their eyes. Bizarre injuries in unfortunate areas. Loop mishaps. Also. They aren't a pair of drunks even though it really sounds like it. I don't want to go too specific. But their SX life just sounds like a disaster and she doesn't seem to enjoy it at all. I was housemates with a good friend of mine for several years. I found one of his shirts in my laundry one day. So I decided to fold it up and put it away for him. I opened a drawer that I assumed would contain shirts and half of it was full of adult size baby diapers. Took me weeks to ask him about what I saw. But I just had to because I couldn't unsee it. He was forthcoming about his kink. But it was weird since he was a really straight laced kind of guy. He got the last laugh when my brother inadvertently brought me Noro for Christmas. And I just couldn't stop ting myself. He left one on my bed while I was in the bathroom with a note that said. A one size fits all. Edit. Noro means Noroveris. People tend to get it on airplanes. And it's a dumpster fire of an illness. Wash your hands. I discovered that my friend's eyes cross when he ejaculates. Best friend in HS was casually seeing this dude who was a senior our sophomore year. Well he graduated and dumped her. Next year his brother started HS. She proceeded to date him. Took both of their virginities. Achievement unlocked. Eskimo brothers. 
Edit. Yes. Tunnel buddies. EBDB. A friend of mine came out as Azul. I had never met anyone who was Azul. So I asked a lot of questions, within his comfort level, about what that meant and what it's like to be in a relationship. He said he just doesn't have a SX drive. Doesn't find anything Azul. Doesn't want to be Azul. And is otherwise completely indifferent to SX. He said even though he's had SX. He's felt this way his whole life. He's been with his girlfriend for over 5 years. She is not Azul. She sleeps with other people. He's totally fine with it. Comma he's not interested in progressing the relationship. She's cool with it for now. His biggest thing is that he's scared of how his family would react if they found out. And that they would assume he was just suppressing homosexuality. Turns out even people with no sexuality are still afraid of what others will think of them. On the outside she's the perfect little Mormon mom and wife. However she's developed a taste for women that I don't think her husband knows about. She told me on a couple of occasions her and another woman that goes to the same church as her had sx in her house after the husband and kid had gone to services. When one of my best friends told me she and her husband hadn't had sx in like 4 years. Broke my heart. Trauma's a bitch. A co-worker of mine told me she enjoyed role playing with her boyfriend. One day she told me it might have gone too far because she had her boyfriend roleplay a person with severe down syndrome. When you misinterpret go down on me. That when house sitting for us he and his wife had in every room of our house and also on my motorcycle. Edit. Since you all want details. I found out a few months later when the bastard told me. His wife also mentioned it. The bike was a custom Harley with a wide. Low seat. I'm pretty sure they bumped uglies on top while it was on the kickstand. I had a hard time enjoying the bike after that. I ended up selling it to our local city councilman. I didn't disclose the eyeing. Someone's gotta do it. She lost her anal virginity while I was in the next room. Incognito mode. Edit. Don't give me gold for this dumbass comment I posted at 1am. Edit 2. That doesn't mean give me silver either. I jaff so I'm just going to post on my main account. GF and I were hanging out with another couple and started talking about our SX lives. And we joked about the one redid post on our SX where the guy's wife wanted him to in her mouth. We stated that we agreed at the start of our relationship that our hard limit on anything kinky was anything involving bodily fluids that weren't cum or lubricant. At that point. The dude looked at us with a shocked look. Not even B. That was all he had to say. My BF knew a guy who had a lot of one night stands. He asked him about it because he doesn't really get the appeal of it. The following exchange ensued. BF. Why go to so much trouble just to have 3 minutes of fun and leave? Guy. How are you lasting 3 minutes? I have a friend that's a massive player. I'd not be shocked if he said he slept with more than 100 women. Turns out he's thinking of switching teams. With me apparently. Do it you won't. A friend of mine got her Vegina ass busted open. It was the wall between the two tbh. I'm wild. BC apparently her boyfriend has a huge dick. It was a big deal. She nearly died. Had to have surgery and everything. She was in the hospital for a week. She has referred to said penis as substantial and they are still together and what not. A story as to why she was in the hospital however was that she had to have her gallbladder removed. Nice save. My friend's mouth is too small for blowjobs. I have a friend who lives a bizarre poly BDSM lifestyle and posts about it all the time on Facebook. It's interesting and has made me more open to my own atypical interests and has helped make me more accepting of others with their soul inclinations dissimilar to my own. This will be buried and never seen. But I knew a guy who admitted while blackout drunk. That he liked watching his wife and her brother. My best friend was about to have sx. Realized he had no condoms. Only store that was closed was closed. He decided to DIY it and used a ziplock bag. I said man those have sharp edges he replied not on the inside. 
that they never invited me to their orgies. My best friend let another guy suck his dick a few years ago. It was shocking to me because. As someone I know very well for nearly 20 years now. Never showed any sort of interest or had any indication that he would ever try that. It should be clear that I'm a very pro-LGBT person and realize sexuality can be complicated. But damn that was out of left field for me haha. He said he wouldn't do it again but at the time he thought what the hell and went for it.